the great big howdy do. I tell you what's truth, Lord. Somebody left the back door open. And everybody done filled up the living room. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a mighty good evening and a blessed one. And uh, before we get into this, folks, uh, them old storms that come through here last week, I tell you what's truth, got us pretty bad. But it got a lot of other folks a whole lot worse. It got a whole, I mean, they were tornadoes, especially up in West Virginia and places like that. So if you would, please keep them in your prayers. And welcome everybody and welcome, and like I said, keep everybody that was affected by them storms in your prayers and their families and everybody. Um, and welcome everybody and uh, everybody tuning in from home. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's a blessing to have each and every single one of you with us. Now, that being said, being a blessing, we always start out, like I said, to the all the new kin folk and subscribers. I'll say howdy to everybody in a minute. Uh, but uh, the live stream, I do tell stories, but some of them may be interrupted and things like that and stuff because the live streams are just all about connecting with folks. I say hi to everybody and things like that. But uh, anyhow, first and before we do anything, give praise to the Lord. And do the kinfolk prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you so, so much for another day and shine your glorious light to guide us to be good folks today and even better folks tomorrow. And help care for others along with giving us a heart and a voice to pray for each other and others in need of your heavenly light and love. And Lord, we ask you to Please heal the sick, the injured, feed the hungry, and shine your glorious light all over this old world and everything and everybody in. And we thank you, O oh Lord, for another day to visit with one another. And thank you so, so much, Father, for guiding us and guiding more folks our way to make this love and caring family even much more bigger and to be able to celebrate more days to come and celebrate them in your holy heavenly name. We love one another, and we love you. Amen. Now then, like I said, let's see who all we got in here this evening. Like I said, we got some mighty good kin folk. We got Miss DJ. How you doing, sister? And Miss Angela. How you doing, sister? Good to see you. And our Randall. It's a blessing to have you with us, brother. And Miss Rachel and Mr. Herbert. How you doing, brother? Hope you and Miss Sue are doing mighty good. There's Eric. How you doing, brother? Stephen, Autumn. How you guys doing, Kim folk? I read that much you said earlier about having to lay your poor little fur baby to rest. Yeah, I love her. I'm so sorry to hear that. And Miss Leah, how you doing? She says, hey, y'all. This is first life for me. She can't hardly wait. Well, I tell you what, it sure is a blessing to have you as part of the family. And everything. Uh, so, like I said, God bless each and every single one of you. It's, like I said, it truly is a blessing to have you with us. Um, hang on just a sec. Hmm, 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 hmm. I seen a name that I know. And well, I know all of you. Let's see here. Chat's going pretty quick on me. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> just bear with me, folks. I'll be here in just a minute. Like I said, I get to run my mouth sometimes too. Lord knows that's the truth. There she is right there. Hey, Tiff, how you doing, sister? Well, it sure is good to see you. Hope you're doing mighty good, you and Omar and the kiddos. I said it sure is a blessing to have you with us. Uh, But folks, like I said, uh, 
that's another channel right there is a mighty good one. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, it's a blessing to have all you folks in here with us. And Miss Shana, how you doing, sister? And there's Dave, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. And Miss Ellie, always a blessing to have you with us. And Queen Laura, I don't know who she is. She keeps sneaking in here on us. <laughs> Shadow Gypsy, how you doing, sister? Let's see. I just want to make sure I don't want to miss nobody. Like I said, because I love letting everybody, each and every single person know that I love them and appreciate them. Dark Phoenix, how you doing, sister? There's that spooky fella keeps coming and sneaking in here. <laughs> and Miss Christina, how you doing, my awesome little sister? Blessing to have you with us. Hope you're doing good. Hey, Casey, how you doing, Kim, folks? Blessing to have you with us, too. And Miss Tarsha, how you doing? Nice fly, how you doing, brother? Sure is good to see you. And Miss Ashley, she said, love your stories. Can you just speak faster while you're telling the stories? Well, if I tell them faster, sometimes I get tongue-tied and I get stumbled up on my words. <laughs> hey, Miss Dormia, how you doing, sister? And Miss Kay, it's a blessing to have you with us, too. And then there's the Creek Walker. How you doing, brother? <laughs> Let's see. And Miss Ashley Martin says, Hi, handsome Lord. You can't be talking to me. <laughs> and there's Fine Cigars. Hey, brother. How you doing? Gang's all here. <laughs> Let's see. And there's Jim. How you doing, brother? It sure is a blessing to have you with us. There, I, 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 there's, there's my security guard. <laughs> God, what he's here. How you doing, brother? And Miss Patricia, how you doing, sister? And like I said, and all you folks at home and all the fur babies and the, the grandbabies and the young ones, everybody tuning in, thank you so, so much. Like I said, it sure is a blessing to have each and every single one of you tuning in and just hang out and jaw with us a little bit. Hey, Suburban Hillbilly, how you doing, sister? Oh, school, how you doing, Ken folks? That would be Ken folk, good old spell changer, old Paul as well. It sure enough is. Fine cigar, hope you and the missus are doing mighty good and having a blessed one. Hey, John, how you doing, brother? It's a blessing to have you with us, too. Hey, Cody, how you doing, brother? Hey, John, how you doing, brother? I'm doing mighty good. Like I said, just blessed to be here. Hey, David, how you doing, brother? Sure is good to see you. And Miss Patricia, she says, we love and appreciate you. Well, God bless you, sister. God bless you. I said, you are the one that's blessed me is what it is. And Miss Flying Squirrel, how you doing, sister? I said, the Lord has blessed me, like I said, for guiding you from all of our... Well, it's really blessed all of us for just guiding us all together. Oh, Badger, how you doing, sister? It sure is a blessing to see you. Hey, Auntie Mama, how you doing, sister? It well, sure is good to see you. I don't always get to comment, but I tune in a lot of time to your streams every morning. Hey, Becky, how you doing? She said, hi, I just joined yesterday, and I've been looking forward to this. Lost my husband in November 36 years. Your old time stories are sure helping me heal. Lord, sister, I'm so sorry to hear that you lost him. But it's never a uh, goodbye. It's just to see you later. You'll see him again. And I guarantee you, he's, he's smiling down on you right now from heaven. And he's watching over you. But I am so, so glad that the Lord guided you here. And the stories are helping you heal. Well, hey, sister, how you doing? How you doing? Mercy me, mercy me. And then there's Doc coming in. How you doing, brother? And there's Jaguar. How you doing, brother? 
Let's see. We got Lisa coming in. How you doing, sister? And then we got Eastern Girl. Kim, how you doing, sister? It's a blessing to have you with us. And Miss Starla, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> oh, uh, Eric, that's all right, brother. Like I said, I got your email, and uh, like I said, it's just, I've just uh, been so busy. I'm working on three real big projects and uh, planning on, you know, for the, uh, uh, the, uh, the trip for uh, West Virginia, uh, West Virginia, for Virginia, and uh, I said, I just ain't got time, had time to respond to everybody right off, but I did get them. Hey, Cassie, how you doing, sister? Auntie Mama says, amen, Jerry. Lisa, I hope you're doing mighty good. John says, amen to that, Jerry. Cody's uh, imaginary Appalachian says, Brother Jared and Sister Laura says, all you can folk want to thank you personally for all the prayers that you don't know what it means to me. Well, brother, I tell you what. I said it. We're family. All of us were, were kin folk. And we're all brothers and sisters, and the Lord guided us all together for a reason, you know. And he, like I said, he got, he got us together for a reason. We're family, so that's what we're for. Hey, Leah, how you doing? She's saying hello from a little holler in Poplar, North Carolina. Husband and I celebrating 40-year anniversary today. Well, happy anniversary to you. Well, now that's a blessing right there. Blessings hard. Thank you so much. It sure is a blessing to have you with us, too. Now then, uh, I got to warn you. I got to show my old face again for a minute. <laughs> I got I got a piece of mail to open. And uh let's see here. Mm -hmm. I can hide this part for just a second here. Now if you see I had to get me some I had to get me some specs. My old eyes getting where I couldn't hardly see good. <laughs> I can see things far away, which when it gets real close to me, it just blurs out. Kind of like the camera did there. Come on, focus now. There you are. All right, got a piece of mail from a good kinfolk, Lynn Blevins. Now then, oh, if I don't drop this thing. All right, let's see what we got here. Maybe I'll just pull it open. Yeah, I can just pull it open. Good deal. All right, it says, uh, hey, Jared, hope you and Laura are well. Says, My knees are not so well, so I'll be a missing King Fest maybe next year. But here, uh, something for this year. Love y'all from Lynn and Sue. Well, God bless you, brother. Lord, brother. And, uh, let's see, hide these. Up. Let's see, I don't want to... He sent a personal check as a donation to the channel for $50. So, him and Miss Sue. So, thank you so, so much for that. It sure is a blessing. Thank you so much from the bottom of my old heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ken, folk. Bless your heart for that. You don't know what a blessing each and everything is. All righty, now then. Oh, our Shanna says, uh, East Tennessee, enjoy love, uh, enjoy your channel and love the stories. Well, thank you so much. God bless you. It sure is a blessing to have you with us. And there's Miss Kylan. How you doing, sister? It's a blessing to have you with us, too. And uh, speaking of spooky Appalachia, folks, uh, that's his link that's pinned up at the top up there. He's so close to 4K. So if you ain't subscribed to him, 
Go or check him out. If it's something you think you'd like, subscribe. Hey, Joanne, Danny, how you doing, Kim Fo? Good to see you. Hey, Ian. He says, hello, my friend. Happy to be here as always. Not uh, been too good, so. So good to hear a friendly voice. So God bless you. To all bless, brother. You don't know what a blessing each and every one of you folks is to the family. I said, we're all kin folk and here for one another and everything else. So I said, and so good seconds. Hey, Julia, how you doing? How you doing? Hope you're doing mighty good, and it's a blessing to have you with us. And then there's our good brother, Jeff. How you doing, Ken Folk? Sure is a blessing to have you with us, too. Oh, my Lord. Some kind of busted in there. Let's see. Hey, Miss Angela, how you doing? How you doing? Angelina, this is Jerry. Been listening to your stories every day from when I wake up till I go to bed, and I love them. I think this is my second life. Well, Lord, sister, what a blessing it is to have you with us, and it's so glad you enjoy them. Lord, Jeff, thank you so, so much for that, brother. God bless you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, what a blessing indeed. Don't know how much it helps. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Joanne and Danny says, we've been uh, going to Smokies for 15 years. And Tuesday, finally seen a bear. Well, it's something other, ain't it? Back where we used to live, there's no black bear down in there. I used to run around. Used to aggravate the dogs to death. <laughs> hey, Cindy, how you doing, sister? It sure is a blessing to have you with us. Uh, now, how about we get into a couple of stories? Uh, like I said, we've got a bunch that's been submitted and, uh, things like that. So I said, I go by the order they're submitted. So if you don't hear yours right off, don't give up on me. Just keep turning into the live streams or you might see them in a video or something other like that. Now, this one, uh, comes to us from a good sister and viewer, Angelina Roberts. She says, hey, Jared, after listening to others sending in their stories, I wanted to send mine to make it a little bit easier to read and understand, so you can share it on the show. So, here it is. So, well, I was born in 1969. In Wilmington, North Carolina. Says, over the years, said, my daddy liked to move around a lot. Said he also could never be faithful to my mother. So in 79, when I was 10 years old on Christmas Eve, daddy moved my mom and me and my little sister into a trailer a few miles away from my grandparents' house. Then he left to spend Christmas with his girlfriend. So, well, I'd been to my grandparents' house a few times, and the first time being when I was about three years old. Didn't understand then that I was sensitive. And I wondered why I always felt weird in this old house. So I'd remember I'd play in the living room with grandma's whatnots. And I'd carefully take them off the little tables they was on, onto the floor, and then play with them being mighty careful not to look up stairs because even when I was little the stairs felt mighty creepy so back to 1979 so I don't think we was there in that little old trailer for long this is maybe about six months said when my granddaddy had a stroke we then moved in with him I didn't realize it but I'd be there till I grew up and moved in with my future husband. So we slept in the living room first on rollaway beds. When we moved to a bedroom upstairs. Well, when I was 12, Daddy left. When I was 13, they were divorced. The activity 
and that house really picked up after that. So after Grandma and Granddaddy was gone, I remember door slamming, sounds of somebody walking up and down the stairs, mainly at night. It was also invested with mice, so when I'd go through the kitchen on my way to the bathroom with my flashlight, I'd see thousands of tiny eyes. One thing that was especially strange was something that happened to me and Mom in two at two different times. Mom lived there when she was young. She said she had heard her mother calling her name when she was outside picking blackberries. She hadn't called her. So fast forward. One day when I was 16, I heard my mom calling my name while I was upstairs. She hadn't. Well, one day when I was about 17, I was having a conversation with two of my friends upstairs in one of the haunted bedrooms. And I was telling them how I always felt like I was being watched. Loretta said she was a medium. So a short time later, me, Andrea, and Loretta were sitting in the dark, having us a seance. I know I shouldn't have done that but being kids. Well, this spirit spoke through Loretta, and I asked her its name. She said her name was Lisa. So I asked, you know, why she haunt me? She said, you're most like me. I asked, where are you? She said, it's cold. Then she said, never to disturb her again. I said that I wouldn't, then everything went back to normal. So we thought. While the other two was talking, I felt like I was fading away further and further from the room. I could barely hear them. When one of them noticed something was really wrong. They said that my skin was cold to the touch. Said my eyes had changed to a nice blue. And somebody or something was trying to take over my body. Loretta threw a blanket over me and they both started calling my name. Well, I slowly returned. Thought it was over. It weren't. I'll explain later. When I was 21, I had my son Jeremy from a previous relationship that didn't work out. Well, we started out, we slept downstairs in Mama's room. Then I moved. For privacy's sake, upstairs. You see, by then, I was used to the hauntings of the house. If that makes any sense to you. But a series of things that happened changed my mind. One day, I had my son, who was not rolling over yet, and he was just a few months old in my bed. Well, he was asleep, and I had to step out of the room for a minute. Surrounded him with pillars, and then left. It's only gone just a minute. Then, I walked back in to find him in the floor. Pillars hadn't been moved at all. It was as if somebody or something had picked him up and put him in the floor. Weren't a bruise or scratch on him. You can imagine how I felt when I found him. I immediately picked him up and looked at him up and down, but seemed all right. Even smiling when I picked him up. I'm sorry. A few days later, sleep again in his crib. I was downstairs. And I heard, I'm going to hurt your son, whispered in my ear. Well, I run upstairs and grabbed him out of his crib. A couple of years later, my husband came into my life, and me and Jeremy were able to get out of that house. When Jeremy was about five or six. We were told the trailer we was living in had contaminated water. We had 30 days to find a different place to live. We well, come to find out, the landlady had lied. She just wanted our trailer for some of her family. So on the 29th, 1996, we got married. Spent my wedding night in my old room. We thought we'd you know, be there for a few months and ended up being there a year. My husband and three youngins from the previous marriage who'd come in on the weekends. I remember every night I'd pray over their beds as I was making them up, asking angels to watch over them. When they grew up, they told me they had experiences in that room, but they refused to say exactly what happened. To this day, I have no clue. 
One night after my husband had come back from taking his children home, he and I were upstairs, up there in her room. Jeremy was downstairs with his grandma and her husband. Suddenly, the doorknob started turning. I thought Andrew's, uh, I thought Andrew, mom's husband, had come upstairs. If it were Jeremy, he'd just walk on in. So I said, come on in. The whole door started shaking, along with the doorknob turning violently. I'd never seen any activity like this. My husband, Kelvin, kicked the door open. Nobody was there. We asked Mama, Andrew, and Jeremy. Nobody had been upstairs. My husband had been an unbeliever up to that point. I remember I'd wake up in the middle of the night. Certain somebody was standing in front of the door. When we move in, we have a couple of cocktails and, you know, uh, cockatiels, I'm sorry. Uh, we had two cockatiels and raised them from babies. So we found them dead one day when we come into our room. I remember I begged my husband to please get us out of there. I began to get very depressed and everything. After a year, we moved, but we were followed. We were followed to the new house and the trailer we live in now. One day in church, when the Holy Ghost was moving, something in me stirred. Well, long story short, I was delivered from five demons. One of whom said his name was Lisa. My mama come to, come to live with me about five years ago. Her husband still lives there. One day, mama wanted Kevin to go check the mail. Look in the house for something. I can't remember what, but he come out and said that it looked like Andrew had taken a knife and just messed up her bed with it over and over again. Stabbing pillars and everything else. But thank God she come to live with me. He might have done something really bad to her. So she lives here still. And now it's the first stages of dementia. And also has diabetes. My health is deteriorating itself. I uh, said, so, uh, so I have a very difficult life and got a lot of different uh, medical conditions. I said, but with that said, I know God is faithful. He brought me a long way and he has protected me, my children and my mama from the demons in that house. So one day, my sister and I was standing outside in the front yard when she suddenly took a picture of the upstairs window. So I don't know why I took the phone and zoomed into the window and it showed a face, a man with a beard. I said, y'all, it's time to go. We ain't been back to that house since and ain't got no plans to return in the future. So thank you, Jerry, for reading my story and sharing it. I love y'all bunches. Yours truly, Angie Roberts. She said, P.S., I'm a writer now. I'm working on my book of poetry, plus a book about the Titanic. Should be out in a couple of years, Lord willing. Well, Lord, sister, thank you so, so much for sharing that story. That is mighty spooky right there. Woo, mercy. All right, let's see. Has anybody come in while I was in here jawing? <laughs> Up here flapping my jaws. Oh, me. All right, let's see here. Miss Gail, how are you doing, sister? She said, just come across your channel about a week ago. Been watching your videos and just wanted you to know how much I love your storytelling and appreciate, uh, appreciate for you for keeping them clean. Well, God bless you, sister, for that. And it's a pleasure for that. And like I said, I, 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 I want my stories and my channel to, to be family friendly because that's how I was raised you know uh, and I want folks to be able to you know if somebody's walking through the house and they see their young or something other they're watching you know I want them to be able to say oh well, that's Jerry that's a good channel you know good family friendly things like that so you know, you're so you're you're very welcome sister and it is a honor and a blessing to have you as part of the family 
Hey, LeBron, how you doing, brother? How you doing? How you doing? Now, Fly, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'll have to agree with you. <laughs> Love me a bacon wrap. Anything's good with bacon. Bacon with a side of bacon is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, you're talking my language. You never have too much bacon. Let's see. Queens is 32 away from 2K. Woohoo! I believe you'll get there in no time. Let's see. Chatterbox says, Hey, brother, good to finally see you live. So you're a great storyteller. Honest to goodness, blessing. Well, thank you so, so much, Ken, folk. God bless you for that. It sure is a blessing to have you with us and have you as part of the family and the Ken folk. As well as Miss Dark Phoenix. That's always a blessing, always a blessing. Bacon is the candy of meat. Amen to that. <laughs> it ain't good for my blood pressure, but boy, I sure do love it. <laughs> Yeah, brother, he, Lord, does a mighty good job. Dave's good to see you too, brother, man, and blessing to have you with us. As well as Beans and Taters, how you doing, sister? Good to see you. So thank you all kindly. Feel very welcome. Well, you should. Like I said, I hear we're family. Hey, zombies, it's howdy, y'all. So sorry I'm late. That's all right. Busy day. I understand that. I understand that. Know how that goes. And there's Miss Joni. How you doing, sister? Sure is good to see you. And a blessing to have you with us. Shadows Pies, Frank. How you doing, brother? Says, I'm listening, brother. All right. It's a blessing to have you with us, too, man. Jess, it'd be so cool spending the weekend in that cabin. Boy, it would. That's my dream home right there is having an old cabin way back in the mountains. Sure enough is. It's way, way back in there. I said, have Kim folk come see you. <laughs> Everything is. Hey, Kyle, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. And Miss Jana, a blessing as always to see you. And folks, Miss Jana, like I said, finally she got to bring her grandbaby home. And let me tell you, that is the bundle of, bundle of joy you ever seen in your life. <laughs> and Jenna, I know you you already got it ruined, don't you? <laughs> oh me. So I said uh, let's see, make sure anybody else make sure I said hi to everybody. Hey Miss Carr, how you doing, sister? Says hi y'all. Been watching on TV. Hope everybody's doing well. We are, sister, and it's a blessing to have you with us. It sure is. Miss Deborah, how you doing, sister? It's a blessing to have you with us. She says, just found your channel. Just watch Ruby's story. Hi, nice to meet y'all. Well, it sure is a blessing to have you with us, sister, and I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Hey, Susan, how you doing, sister? Blessing to have you with us, too. She says, hi, everybody. I just made it. Well, it sure is good to see you. It sure is. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All righty. Trader Boxes, I'm so hooked on these stories, may have to plan a trip to Appalachia. Well, come on down. All righty. Let's see. Now, all right, now, you know, we, we, we love the spooky stories. That we do. But now we got, I got one sent to me. It's kind of funny. Uh, from our good brother, Fine Seagar. And like I said, him and the missus, they tune in quite a bit. Him and Miss Beth. And uh, I said, so I, 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 it's, we love a funny one every now and then. So, hey, Izzy, how you doing, Ken? Full good to see you. Janice says, Jerry, she's already a granny girl. Says, I go get her and put her in the bed with me. We curl up, go back to sleep. Oh, I say this mama can sleep. But we all know I'm lying. <laughs> oh, mercy me. I told you, you done got that young run, but that's what they're for, ain't it? <laughs> oh, man. 
But I said, this is from a good brother, Fine Seaguard. He says, good afternoon, brother. Said, Beth and I was uh, talking and remember a while back, said, you posted the show with a bunch of funny stories. I said, oh, I thought I'd send one uh, that went around. He said, uh, used to be an old farmer who uh, had to take his crops to town to sell. Well, he loaded up his wagon, hitched up his horse, and him and his old dogs, they started out. They went on the way to town, a pickup truck come a flying down the old narrow road and swiped his wagon to the side. You know, just side swiped him and kept on going. Said, well, this throwed the farmer off the wagon into the road. Said, you know, had several pretty bad injuries, couldn't stand up. So well, said he laid there for a while. We heard a siren in the distance. Then a patrol car pulled up. The deputy got out of the car and walked up to the farmer's horse, which was laying there in the ditch, and a lot of pain, things like that. So he had to put it out of its misery. Said so next thing, he walked up to the farmer's dog. Same thing. And again, had to put it out of its misery. Said he. Bless their hearts, you know. So finally, said the deputy walked up to the farmer laying there on the roadway and asked him, says, how you doing? Said, which the farmer jumped up and said, boy, I've never felt better in my life. <laughs> oh, mercy me, mercy me. <laughs> he says, hope this finds you well, Ken, folk, and hope you enjoy. Have a blessed day. Fine cigar. <laughs> I said, it's good to get one. Like I said, it kind of gets you, gives you a chuckle every now and then. Oh, mercy me. I said, I, he sent me that, and I said, I laughed, and I spit my drink out. Woo. Oh, man. i tell you what's the truth. Like I said, I, seen, I read that, and I laughed. Oh, me. That was a good one right there. <clears throat> Let's see. But, uh, yeah, I said mighty good, mighty good. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, now then, uh, that's, mm -hmm. can't remember if I read this or not, but I'm going to read this again, just to make sure. Let's see. I can't remember if I read this or not. Anyhow, I'll read it again just in case. It's from our good sister, Elizabeth Shedders. She says, When I was young, say around seven, almost eight, so I had to move from our home due to her, you know, renewal and stuff. She said, so, bought our house and property. Uh, to build, you know, condominiums, things like that. Basically bought everybody out. So anyway, Daddy taken care of my grandma for years since he returned from the Army. He took care of the yard and rebuilt, you know, clothes and just general maintenance on her house. And she become ill, moved in with her, uh, with her daughter, my aunt, in Louisiana. And after she passed away, my daddy inherited the house, so we moved into it on the property. Said uh, he had bought uh, bought it in the country, and it was, you know, two bedroom. Said you know had a screened in porch, you know, where we kept the old ringer washer. My little brother slept in yonder. Said my sister and I slept in the bedroom right next to my parents' room. Says well things were good till about you know, or pretty good until you know, my sister got married at sixteen, moved out. So I'd go to bed at night, and almost as soon as I got to bed. I'd hear what would be sounding like a party outside the winter. So I'd be so scared 
pull the covers over my head. I'd just lay there listening. It was always the same men and women would laugh and just make all kind of noise. One night, I gathered up the courage to peek out my curtains, and there they were, this just musty-looking people standing right there at my window. So I was frightened, but I pulled the window down, pulled the curtains down, closed it up, and just jumped right back into bed and pulled the covers over my head. Hey, Donnie, how you doing, brother? That's all right. It's always just a blessing to have you with us. And our good sister, DJ, how you doing, sister? That's all right. Good to see you. Good to see you and a blessing to have you with us. And our good sister, Marcia, how you doing? How you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in and joining us. And David, how you doing, brother? Blessing to have you with us. Uh, she said, I snuck back to the window. I said, I saw this man standing there just staring at my window. And I said, as loud as I could, go away. And they all vanished. But they come back every night until my mom and daddy sadly split up when I went to live with my mama in town. Lord have mercy. Ooh, that was mighty good. Hey, Scully, how you doing, brother? Sure is good to see you. Now then, for us, see, uh, everybody, don't forget, if anybody wants to send anything, would like to send anything to me or the channel for me to open up stuff, Right there is the thing for the P.O. box. Uh, you nobody ever feel obligated, but if anybody wants to send a donation in that don't have cash out, or PayPal, or something like that, you can send a personal check or money order to Jared King, P.O. Box 245, McMillan, Tennessee, 37111. If you have a story you'd like to submit, have read on, you know, uh, on one of the live streams, you can submit it right there. Email kingjared1981 gmail.com. And now I said, uh, next week, uh, on the 13th, will be the live stream from Virginia, live from Radford, Virginia. But the week after that, April 20th, King Fest. Now, King Fest for the new folks coming in and everything is, uh, it's just a place, it's just it's where we all get together, hang out. You can come. It's absolutely free. You can come and meet up. You can meet us, other folks, Ken folk. We all get to meet and meet each other, things like that. And uh, like I said there's no thing that we do, you know, you know, there's no criteria or anything. We just get together and it's, you know, like family reunion. We just get together and sit around and jaw a little bit. Some folks is bringing, you know, bringing some supper and stuff, things to eat and, uh, like I said, it is family friendly, and you can uh, bring you, you know, bring you youngs. There's a playground across from it. I said, cause we're all family, so I said it's all free. You just show up, and have a good old time. Hey, Patty, how you doing? How you doing, sister? Blessing to have you with us. Good evening. First time catching you live. Love the Appalachian stories. Well, thank you so so much, Patty. God bless you, sister. I'm so glad you enjoy them. Oh, Ellie, I'm so sorry. So she said, I want to go so bad, but hubby just had heart failure. It's an old traveling. I understand that, sister. God bless you. Uh, let's see now. Uh, I had a couple here. I was going to read. Let's see. Where's that at? Or one or two. Let's see. <laughs> that guy on it, I know I had him somewhere or another. Let's see. All right, here we go. It's from our good sister, Gail Sprouse. If I, or Spruce, like I said, if I'm butchering that name, I do apologize. Like I said, I'm not real good with that. <laughs> My old hillbilly accent just butchers names usually. Hey, Jen, how you doing, sister? She just got home from work and glad you lied. Well, God bless you, sister. And like I said, so glad you honored us to come in and hang out with us. Hey, Life Design, how you doing? How you doing? 
Hi from North Ontario, Canada. Well, it sure is a blessing to have you with us. Thank you so, so much. Hope you're doing mighty good. Now you folks, again, folks tuning in at home, thank you so, so much. Anyhow, Gail says, says I've seen uh, uh, ghosts in a couple of houses, she said, that I've moved into or been in. She said, one night, said, uh, I went over to my daughter's house to spend the day with her and the night. Ended up staying the night. Said, and I live in the same city as her, so, I, you know, I just slept on the sofa. Well, one night, I was thirsty. Got up to get me a glass of water. Said, when I got up, so I roused up, and I saw a boy looking out the dining room window at my daughter. Uh, no, I said, uh, looking out the dining room window. Said, my daughter had two girls, no boys. Said, he was cute with a little blonde hair, boy, you know. Said, hair cut short. Said, he looked right at me. And I looked at him. Said, well, I started to walk into the kitchen. She said, he run down into the basement there. And she said, there ain't nothing down there. Nothing down there, that old basement, but an old water tank and an old heater. She said, well, I was telling my daughter about it. Says she knowed about the boy. Says she asked questions and stuff, you know, who lived in the house before her, said, but nobody knew. Says so, she got a priest and had the house blessed. Said, ain't, you know, ain't been back since. Well, Gail, thank you so, so much for sending that in, sister. Like I said, that was a mighty good one right there. And, uh, <laughs> no, Jimmy, I ain't forgot. Uh, me and Jimmy, Spooky Appalachia, speaking of the, speaking of the witch, as old saying goes, speak of the devil. Uh, hey, uh, me and him, I said, uh, recorded some good stuff today, and me and him a queen, and uh, I said, he, uh, me and him, I said, uh, we usually record a lot of stuff together and things like that. And uh, he is getting closer and closer to 4K. And uh, so I said, we do. We always do a lot of uh, collabs and stuff like that. So you'll see a lot of me over on his channel. And you'll see him over here on mine. And, you know, things like that. As well as Queen Laura TV. She's on there with us a lot. And, uh, and everything. So, like I said, it, uh, like I said, we just get together and have a whole lot of fun. And, like I said, he's almost to 4K. So, I said, so if you ain't subscribed to Spooky Appalachia, oh, it says he's at 3.99 subscribers. So, like I said, his link is pinned up there at the top. And, oh, there it is. Queen Lord dropped it right there. So, folks, if you ain't subscribed to Spooky Appalachia, head over there. Let's help him hit that 4K mark. Like I said, because he is a, he's a mighty good feller, and he shows everybody a lot of love and support. And Miss Queen Laura is at 1,971. So, like I said, she's 20-something away. Like I said, she's only 20-something away from uh, 2K. She's about to reach her goal, too. She's 29 away. So... I said, Spooky Appalachia and Queen Lord TV. I said, him's a couple of good channels right there as well as my good old mountain brother, Donnie Laws. I said, now, Donnie, you can't, you can't beat Donnie. I said, Donnie is, he's the master of storytelling. You know, I've had a lot of folks tell me I was. No, <laughs> Donnie's the master of storytelling. Uh, of all Appalachian storytelling stuff, and all storytelling, in my opinion, but uh, I said you can't beat him. So, like I said, if you don't have Donnie Laws, be sure and go over there and show him some love and support, too. And if uh, you're watching this back after it's the stream's ended, I will leave Spooky Appalachia, Queen Laura TV, and Donnie Laws links down in the, down in the descriptions so you just can go over and subscribe to see more good old Appalachian mountain content. So, like I said, mighty good folks, mighty good channels. Well, folks, 
we're coming up on our time here. And uh, I said, I want to thank each and every single one of you for uh, tuning in and hanging out with us and jawing with us and things like that. It sure is a blessing. And thank you so much to, uh, uh, for the donations and uh, super chats and everything. God bless you. It's because, uh, and Ms. Cara says, Queen, can you please drop your link so I could sub? She sure can. And, uh, well, hey, Miss Bernice. She said, good evening and love Donnie Laws. Amen, sister. Amen. And what a blessing it is to see you. Uh, but I will be, uh, live again tomorrow night. I missed, uh, Tuesday because of the storm. And I said, I love, you know, getting to visit and talk with you folks and stuff, tell stories and things. So I'll, I'll go live again tomorrow night to make up for it. <laughs> As a way of saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyhow. We're going to end it. I said we started it with a prayer, so we're going to end it with a prayer. Then we'll get her dancing shoes on. Heavenly Father, we come to you with our hearts as one and together, you know, and thank you for giving us this time together. We love one another and we enjoy it so much. And thank you, Lord, for guiding more kinfolk our way. And thank you for sending some that's sick, ailing, injured, got surgeries coming up, or just having a rough day. So that way, maybe we can cheer them up and pray for them and keep them in our hearts and thoughts and prayers. And also, Lord, we ask you to please keep everybody here tonight, their families and friends in your heart and heavenly hands, although we know you will, to comfort them and heal them if they're in need. And Lord, there's a whole lot of people in this whole world just full of meanness and negativity so if you would please father we ask you to please forgive them and save them and we ask this in your loving heavenly name amen well miss lavette that's all right sister better late than never and i said i'll be live again tomorrow night miss becky says have a peaceful night and prayers up for you and the family and the camp folks. Thank you so much, sister. God bless you. Yes, thank you, Jerry, for the excellent stories and the camp folk. Amen. Blessings, my brothers and sisters. Amen. All righty, folks. Well, now you just know what to do. Hey, our pterodactyl, I missed you. Sorry about that. Good to see you and blessed to have you with us. Uh, well, now you just know uh, what to do. Everybody grab you uh, Take your, you might want to take your shoes off now. We don't want nobody dancing your shoes off or scorching your socks or <laughs> get a callus on your toe. <laughs> well, I love you bunches. God bless you and you can. And have a good one. Now grab you a $3 mule and get out there on the dance floor.